Yum! Oh yeah! That first helping of solving systems by elimination was tasty. I'd like to take a second serving of some more harder ones, but first let's review the game plan. We're gonna need a game plan. First, we're gonna get our two equations in standard form. Then, we're gonna find additive inverses. Then, Adam. Then, back sub to find your point. Okay, game plan set in place. So let's go up here. Yes, first thing I wanna do is get it into standard form. When I say it, I'm talking about my system, my two by two. Oh, what do I do? I get everything on one side. When I say everything, I want variables on one side, constants on the other. And here we go. Yes, okay, Jedi's. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, I'm not changing the dang thing. The top one is in standard form. This is 4x minus 5y is equal to 6. Okay, and then the bottom one, I need to subtract that 3x off both sides, and I do. I got a minus 3x plus y is equal to a minus 10. Now I need to pick a variable to eliminate and eliminate him. Okay, which one? Ooh, -wee. it appears y is going to be the one that I want. Why? Because then I don't have to multiply both equations by a multiple. Here, I want to try to get y additive inverses. So I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 5. And then what you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. You see what we're trying to do here? Mm -hmm. We're trying to um get y to be 5y, because then I'll have additive inverses. I'm going to take this system right on down here. Okay, I still haven't changed my top one. This is 4x minus 5y is equal to 6. Yes. And then it goes, ooh, 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 minus 15x plus 5y is minus 50. Oh no, these numbers are big. But now it's time to add them. Yeah. Why? Because I have additive inverses. So then I add them straight on down. Oh, boy. Is this minus 11x? Yes. And then, no, why? The desired effect. Oh, boy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. A minus 44. Okay. Then we're going to go and we're going to divide both sides by that minus 11. Divide this by minus 11. And it appears to me that we see that x is going to be 4. Sure, but wait, there's more. What do I do with that for? I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna plug it into one of the originals. We got to come original, we got to come original. Yes, if this is one and that's two, then yes, what do I do? I'm gonna plug x is equal to four into two. Mm -hmm. Right, I could have put it in either one, but this one's already quite nice. So that says everywhere in two, y equals three, times x. x is now 4. We found him. He's fantastic. The fantastic 4. Um, minus 10. Very nice. Finish him. That's 12 minus 10. And it does appear to me that we do see that y is 2. Oh, but what's my point? My point is the solution to a system is a point. Okay. Mm-hmm. My x value was 4 and my y value was 2. Oh, and then what? Which takes me up to my next example. Already in standard form. Need to pick a variable to eliminate. Which one? I don't care. Oh, wait. Why don't we um, eliminate y this time? No, x. Just for some flavor. Okay, so if I'm going to get those additive inverses of each other, I'm going to need to multiply the top one by... Oh, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it, a minus three. And then what you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. Okay, and then when I do it, it goes ooh, ooh, and we got a minus nine x minus three y is a minus 12. Didn't do a dang thing to the second one, don't touch it. Leave it alone, nine x plus three y is six. Now we're to the part where we add them. Yes. So then when I add them straight on down, I get, oh, no x's. Oh, no y's. So I have nothing is equal to wait, wait, wait. 
Is zero ever equal to minus six? No, right? Then what? We have no solution. Yes, what gets the box? What gets the flower? Either one of these is good. Mm-hmm. Ooh wee, what if we had solved this guy? Not that one, a different one, completely. What if we had solved that guy and we had gotten like, um, six is equal to six? Is that ever not true? No, that's always true. And this is gonna have infinite solutions. Infinite, infinite. Uh huh. And um, depending on your original equation would be how you would write your point. Okay, probably um, set notation. You'd say the point x comma y where, and then you'd have one of the original equations. You'd close that curly box, and you'd be done.